So there's a, a simple way to uh, recognize open intelligence in our own experience. Um, and we can all do that together. Uh, so it's not a very lengthy exercise, and some of you are very familiar with it by now. <laughs> but if you would like to just relax the need to perpetuate thinking, just for a brief moment. Just relax thinking for a brief moment. So what becomes obvious when we do that is that the cognizance of mind itself remains, doesn't it? Even if you stop thinking, the aware quality of mind, the cognizant quality of mind remains. And so this is, in fact, what our identity is, bare, alert, pure cognizance itself. And this is what we call open intelligence in this teaching. And this is what we're actually resting as when we're taking a short moment. So we're resting as our true nature of open intelligence, the bare, alert cognizance of mind. It's very similar to a mirror and its reflections. Uh, open intelligence and all data, or open intelligence and all experience. In a mirror, you can see that um, no matter what reflections appear within it, uh, the basic qualities of the mirror remain the same. Its brilliance, its openness, its uh, clarity, they remain regardless of whether Mother Teresa appears in it or some unsavory character appears within it. Uh, regardless, the nature of the mirror remains the same. And so now reflecting on our own nature, uh, it doesn't matter if a very pleasant feeling arises in our experience or a very unpleasant feeling arises in our experience, the basic nature of mind or the basic nature of open intelligence nevertheless remains the same. It's always stable. It's never uh, affected by any experience. And uh, that's quite clear when we think about our whole lifetime up until now, that some of us, are, uh, we have a range of ages here. But basically, we've all been alive for quite a long time, you know, longer than a day, quite a lot longer than a day. And um, even a day is enough to see that. Um, so in our lives, we've felt so many different things. We've had so many different circumstances from extremely unpleasant to extremely pleasant and everything in between and wildly along this spectrum at all times we're having some kind of experience. Often it's more or less neutral <laughs> and we don't care to notice it very much. And then occasionally very unpleasant, occasionally pleasant. So after everything that's happened, um, what has happened to open intelligence? Here it still is, just like it always was, completely reliable. Its brilliance is completely on and always has been. Its stability has always been intact, no matter how we felt or no matter what's been going on. So with this line of reasoning, we can see with assurance that this really is something we can rely on. We really can find our home in open intelligence. Uh, it is our true home. It's where we can truly rest, no matter what's going on. So every time you check, you will find that open intelligence is present. 
by virtue of the fact that you are able to check in the first place, <laughs> means that open intelligence must be present. All experience is the evidence of open intelligence, just like all reflections in a mirror are evidence of the mirror itself and vice versa. It's a, a gradual process for most of us of gaining assurance in open intelligence. And so that's why the practice to repeat, to repeat the brief moments of resting naturally as open intelligence, that's why we utilize that practice. It's a kind and gentle way of easing into assurance. It's a bit like um, uh, how you know, when a dog goes, what's a thing called again where a dog lies down? A dog basket. For some reason, when dogs go to sit down in their dog basket, they always kind of do, <laughs> it's like they're not really doing anything. They kind of, and then they twirl around a couple of times, and then finally they, they allow the total release of, of complete comfort and relaxation. So all of us in our own unique way, we all have that little dance that we want to do, usually for a few years, <laughs> before, we, before we finally just allow the complete simplicity of, of um, trusting reality as it is, without hesitating to do that. So um, if we sometimes feel like we can't relax, um, that's fine, just relax. <laughs> well, that, that response sometimes is annoying, but I, but I, think, you, you, uh, I think you took it in the way that I, that I mean it. There's always something we can worry about if we want to, and not being able to take a short moment is just another thing that you can worry about. You can worry about it if you want. I wouldn't suggest it because it's pointless. It doesn't benefit anybody. <laughs> but you do have the option if you so choose to, uh, to, to utilize it. We have that capacity as humans. We're very good at suffering. It's like a, something that most animals can't do as well as we do. <laughs> but that same capacity uh, when used properly, the capacity for uh, thinking and conceptualizing is of huge benefit when we do allow everything to be as it is. So it's a, a gift that we have as humans that can either be used uh, for benefit or, uh, you know, knowing no better, sometimes we use it to struggle with our experience to no avail. Because, you know, like we've been saying, we've been struggling with our experience for our entire life. And yet still, our experience is like that. It's over here this minute, it's over there the next minute, it's up here the next minute, it's down there the next minute. All the struggling we've done to control it, <laughs> and now we're no better at controlling our experience than we were the day we were born. So it's funny in a way that we, that we persist in trying to do that. Uh, but a massive, massive relief when we, in a short moment, just decide to give up that effort to completely relax instead. So it does take some time to, to grow in assurance, and, and that's totally fine. It's like a flower opening. Uh, it's beautiful at all stages of opening. Uh, a bud, is that what they're called when it's closed? Is, isn't a bud beautiful? I know it's a cheesy metaphor, but a, a, bud, a flower bud is beautiful. And when it's slightly opened, it's beautiful. And when it's half opened, it's beautiful. When it's fully opened, it's beautiful. When it's dying, it's beautiful. So we can regard ourselves in that same light with, with an instinctive trust in nature nature's intelligence, which is, which pervades everything that we are and everything that everything is. It's, it's uh, nature's intelligence, it's like our, it's our true mother. We can rely on our mother. 
It's the, the true mother of all beings is reality itself or nature's intelligence. And you really can rely on it in birth, life and death. Nature takes care of the whole process in perfect beauty at every stage. <laughs>